teenagers are the smartest people on the planet. If you want to look smart, do not stand next to them. They will show you how to work your phone. Here, do this app, do that, do that. I'm looking at them like they work for Google. What the heck? If you want to look incompetent, stand next to an adult like us. We don't know jack nothing. We be like, I don't know what to do this. I don't know. I need to ask my kid. Well, listen, baby, your kid is about as smarter than you. How did you even have them? Let's address the elephant in the room. Where is my butt? I must be the only black girl in the world with no butt. I keep waiting for it to wiggle itself around and attach itself to me. Yeah, I see you big girls over there looking at me talking about, she's so skinny, she's so skinny. No, chick, I'm thin. And there you go. Yeah, I could wear a thong if I wanted to. I just happen to jump rope with it. And let me tell you something, not every man wants a big thick of meat to suck on. Every once in a while, a man wants a bone to suck on. They call it wing stop, and mouth tail is oxtails. <laughs> it's a trip though, let me tell you something. I go to these family reunions all the time, and I got some crazy people in my family. My husband's a Republican. I'm just so cute. He listens to Fox News. I listen to my homegirl, Keisha. Please, let's not get into the debate of politics, okay? Because politics don't work in my house. But we got it all. Why is it that when our kids have animals in the house, they have them and they love them for five seconds and the parents have them for the other four seconds? I can't take it, okay? Why is that we have them in the pound and the other time we have them all at the dog sitter? I can't stand this pound business. Let me tell you something. The one thing we love is our kids with no brains, all right? My daughter has three dogs and the dogs is eating the crouches out of everything in the house. And the dog is the best security. Every time my dogs come, to, every time my husband come to give me a kiss, the dogs come and slobber right between them. The best security in the world. You would think I'm sloppy Scooby-Doo. I hate it, but I love it. I think I'm loving my dogs better than my husband. Hey. <laughs> it's the best we got in a whole situation. When I grew up in San Francisco, I was homeless for two years. And the homeless shelter threw us out the shelter eight o'clock every morning. Wait a minute, it defeats the purpose. You're not supposed to throw us out. You're supposed to keep us in. They threw us out. We were supposed to get a job. I don't want to be productive. I want to be unproductive. It's the craziest thing. I'm running around San Francisco on the bench thinking, wait a minute, I need to get a job. That's how I came to LA, folks. Running around town, hey, doing the do. Hey, I love my dogs. I love my town. We doing it always. So one thing about me, I love to cook. Maybe I don't cook that much. Have you ever had a sloppy joke full of roaches? Okay, so we did have roaches. That reminds me of the that reminds me of the science projects that we once had. I went to school and I showed people how to catch roaches with a Crisco can. Do you like my you like my science projects? We all have science projects. You get a can of Crisco, you lace it with some grease, and you catch roaches. Well, maybe the Catholic school didn't like how I catch roaches, but it was a great science project. You don't like the poor way of rain? It's a great can. Listen, everybody, I'm everyone's favorite auntie. Peace.